How are you today? Welcome to Kitty's channel. I'd like to show you, inform you, and introduce you some of interesting, unique Japanese items and goods. Today it is Chirudu! Futon! Japanese style bedding. As you might know, uh, Japanese houses are pretty small because land is pretty expensive. So, each room we do not have spaces. So, all Japanese people's wisdom, they created this futon. It means this room, daytime we use as a living room or study room, but at night it becomes bedroom. We have thick kilt and mattress. They are normally in the closet, which is called Oshire. But at night, I put them out. So, let me show you how I make my Japanese stone bedding. Very simple, easy. First, mattress, pillow, <laughs> This is it! There are many kinds of materials. Uh, some are cotton, some are polyester, some are feather. Uh, prices are pretty different each one and comfort is pretty different. So you choose as you like. Anyway, let me try. Good night! <laughs> Just like this, so comfortable and warm. Oh, good morning! <laughs> I'm gonna wake up! Then, right away! I fold them just like this. It's so quick and easy. Then, I put this in Oshire. So, this room becomes daily use again. Isn't this amazing idea? Anyway, futon is very comfortable. Western countries, you guys use beds. Beds cannot be moved. Futon easily move away. I will show you how I dry these out because I'm sure you're worried about this doesn't get moisture. Yes, it does. So, when sunny day, I have to dry them out. It is a beautiful sunny day today. Good chance to dry my buttons out. Look, these are specially for buttons. This is how I dry them out. Maybe I start at 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. So, they become dry and very puffy again. So, it means I can sleep good tonight. Yes, this is how we dry out the futon outside. Thank you very much for your watching. If you liked my channel, give me a big like and follow my Twitter. Let's keep it going, everyone. I hope you can sleep good tonight. I will. Bye. <laughs>